What is digital abuse? How it is affecting you? How you can deal with it? To get these answers, watch the video till the end. Hi guys, this is your girl Pooja Bithika and welcome to Vlog Life of Bithika. In today's video, I will be talking about digital abuse. Yes, we are in an era of internet and digital abuse is a regular phenomenon. But before I start, don't forget to subscribe my channel to watch more videos on my channel by hitting the red button below and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Our life is all about WhatsApp messages, videos, tweets, Pinterest, memes, trolls and so much of digital influence. Have you ever sat back and thought that internet is the first and the last thing that you do in your daily course of life. Yes, it's true. It starts with a WhatsApp good morning message and it ends with a Netflix movie or a funny video that you watch right before going to sleep. And at this peak of internet era, we humans are victim of digital abuse. Not many people talk about these issues because we take it very casually. But internet being an integral part of our life now is a reason of depression, anxiety and affecting our real social life. This virtual world of internet is a big reason for deteriorating mental health of our generation. Our generation is strangled into the cobweb of internet. Just like it is feeding us with lots of knowledge, it is also eating us internally. Internet is widely used. It is irrationally used and for this wide usage the negative implication affects our life directly and one of which is digital abuse. I will be talking about what it is, how it is affecting you and how you can prevent it. Let's start with number one. What is online digital abuse? Abuses that is made directly on the online platform which includes shaming, hate comments, bullying, screenshot message sharing, exposing of private video and photos, abusive inbox messages, spam and other message box filled with rubbish messages from strangers, political or social threat to people who does not support a particular cause or particular group of people. So this is what online digital abuse is all about. Now, how it is affecting you? Hate comments is very common. Every day, millions of people are going through hate comments on their posts, photos, videos, etc. People are bullied for their skin color, for their shape, for their height, for their makeup, for their no makeup, for their perfection, for their imperfection. No one is spared. Everyone is bullied for some or the other reason. Now, let's talk about inbox abuses. Inbox abuses is very common as well. Every one of us at some or the other point got this inbox abuse where someone constantly texts you Hi, hello, good morning, hi, hello, good morning, looking sexy, looking hot, looking this and that and end up getting irritated for not getting a reply. They shame you, they shame you, they abuse you for not replying, they do sexual hate comments. We, we take it casually and we prefer ignoring or blocking that person but deep inside that one point that one percent of negativity that is going inside us creates some kind of you know mental blockage it will not let you mix with other people good people who are actually texting you for purpose moving on to private video and photos this is a big issue a lot of suicidal cases have been registered in different countries because of this exposure of private video or private photos on social media yes this is a big bigger kind of digital abuse that people are going through every day now let's talk about how you can deal with it first hate comments the moment you see a hate comments you don't have to read the entire stuff go and there's a delete button delete it it's your post you can do it don't consume negativity with the urge of fighting back or replying back and 
intensifying the negativity in, in your post second bullying if you find somebody bullying you online the first thing you need to do is go and block that person delete all the messages that he have sent to you and wipe that person out of your life you don't need that kind of negativity in your life your life is pretty more complicated in your real life you don't need to add up stuffs prevention is better than cure inbox abuses again inbox abuses you don't need to open your other or spam messages messages which are spam which facebook thinks are spam let it be there and if someone is again texting you every day you don't need to open the text box and read everything that they are saying it to you you have a block button you have a delete button delete them remove them if you find somebody in your life who is affecting you the first thing that you do is you remove that person right you don't mix with that person you don't hang out with that person do it the same thing with your social media coming to screenshots be very careful about who you are talking to be very careful about what you are doing your good deeds your right move will always be right if you are doing something wrong you have the chance of getting exposed by people and no one can deal with it so you have to be very cautious about what you are talking online what you are speaking to someone over text message or whatsoever make it a point to be very careful about your usage of social media and lastly photos and videos your safety is in your hands you are giving the chance to someone to share your private photos and videos because you are sending it to right so the very first thing that you can do is stop sharing that if a person loves you if a person is with you he or she does not need your photos does not want photos if you voluntarily send something to someone make sure you trust that person the person trust you yes it is an impractical statement that if i say no don't send it okay but if you're not comfortable don't send it using internet is always good but you have to know the on and off button when to switch on and when to switch off your mind is a powerful house you have to know how to control things in your life we humans have enough pressure in our life don't let internet don't let social media add on to the critical situation intensify the complications of your life that's it i will wrap up now if you have to say anything about this video you can just leave a comment below if you know any other form of digital abuse that you can share in the comment with others let people know if there is something that i have missed and yes if this was helpful or it helped you in some way don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to watch more such videos on my channel don't forget to subscribe by hitting the red button below and the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload new videos we'll see you guys on my next video with some more cool stuff till then as i say always i love you all keep smiling be happy and be safe bye bye